All rise. Court is now in session. The Second Judicial Circuit, Criminal Division, with the Honorable Judge Linda Crespo presiding. We're here today to sentence Mr. Markello Jones. Let me begin by saying to all the victims and their families that I'm sorry. I certainly understand the great pain you've endured behind these vicious attacks. Your Honor, Mr. Jones has prepared a letter for the court and we ask may he be allowed to read it. What makes you think I want to hear anything he has to say? Your Honor, my client has a right to allocution. I'm aware of your client's right to allocution, so please don't insult me with the definition. We are here in front of the courthouse waiting sentencing for the convicted rapist, Markello Jones. We will keep you up to date as we hear the She's findings, here. minute to minute. This is Kim Garrett. Oh, they're here. They're here. Let's go. Janice Henry, welcome to GLF News. We are standing outside the courtroom where convicted felon Marcelo Jones will be sentenced today. He was arrested, tried, and found guilty of the brutal rape of his best friend turned girlfriend, Tanya Woods. Tanya Woods was found in her dorm room by her roommate. Markello Jones has denied all allegations saying that he and Tanya both had consensual sex. Yet, other victims have come forward. No other news station has access to the courtroom. However, the judges have given GLF News exclusive rights to this high-profile case. We will bring you more updates as things progress. Oh, oh wait, there's Tanya now. Tanya, uh, what are you hoping for today? Uh, um, how are you gonna feel about seeing Markello? How long have you two known me? Oh, oh, there you have it, folks. Thank you for watching. I'm Janice Henry, GLF News. Mr. Jones, does the name Zoe Williams ring a bell? I'm sure it does, as you have her listed on your phone as Ms. Young and Tender. Everyone, please, let me remind you that you are all here as a privilege. Your Honor, if I may, we have a letter regarding Zoe Williams from her sister Chloe that we would like her to read to the court. Your Honor, I don't see the point. Well, I didn't see the point in your client assaulting all these people. But here we are. Counsel, you may proceed. Your Honor, this is Chloe, Zoe's twin sister. Hello, Chloe. How is your sister doing? Zoe. Zoe killed herself. Chloe, would you be okay with reading your letter about your sister? Yes. Your Honor, I am. Floor is yours. Thank you, Judge Crespo. I would never be able to forget her. She was my roommate, and she was my best friend. I would often say that she was a better part of me. My sister was kind, generous, beautiful, but most of all, trusting. Remember when she first told me that, that she was raped. Zoe felt that coming forth was pointless because she didn't have the faith that the prosecution would get a conviction. She could not deal with the possibility of running into Markello on the streets. She said, and I quote, I'd rather deal with the devil. I don't know 
and to deal with the one that I do. You know what? I can't do this. Are you okay? No, Your Honor. I'm not. Look at her! Hold your ugly face up and you look at her! Better yet? Look at me! Because when you see me, you see her! Look at you, the Is there anything else? Your Honor, we would like to point out that in her letter, Zoe states that she is concerned that jurors will blame her instead of the defendant because of who he is in the community. Mr. Jones, no means no in 50 states. And I don't know why you didn't get that, but I'm gonna make sure you understand it no matter how many times it echoes throughout my courtroom today. We do have two other victims that would like to speak to you today, Arturo Sanders and Tanya Woods. Arturo, please come forward and speak your piece. Thank you, Your Honor. I will be brief. I thought that I would have to live with the fact that my rapist would be going home smiling and laughing at me. He stole my body, virginity, and the power I had over it. Do you know how hard it is to be stuck in an apartment day in and day out because I no longer desire to have a social life? I've lost my way to trust. Every night I close my eyes, all I see is you forcing yourself inside of me, which felt like an eternity. You piece of shit, I hope you die on the way to prison. I take sexual assault very serious in my courtroom. Your decision to assault Tanya was precise, calculated, manipulative, devious, and despicable. You were her friend and she trusted you. Now stand up and face her. You can't give her back her innocence, however, you can look her in the eyes. Now stand up. It's easy to cast aspersions on difficult cases like this where the public is so outraged. We, the judges, generally do want to make the right decisions. Well, <laughs> we didn't get into this job to let rapists go free. With that being said, I want to say I am sorry. And I can't imagine the pain that you've had to live with. Now, Tanya has a few things to say, and you're going to stand up and listen to everything she has to say. You owe her that. <laughs> in the court. If you can't keep it together, I will have you all removed. Do I make myself clear? This is not about you. Come on up, Tanya. Now, Tanya, I've read your letter, and like I explained to you, it's better if it comes from you. 
You don't have to be afraid of him anymore. He can't hurt you ever again. This is your time. April 16th is the date that will forever haunt me. I was good with being single. You could have left me alone if you didn't want me. But I fell for the handsome face, and it was something about your charm. You made me feel so comfortable that I didn't think you would do me harm. I spoke in a certain way, dressed in a way that didn't leave anything exposed. Then my virtue was stolen. I screamed through every breath as you continued to tear my clothes. You were my friend, my man. How could you be the one to hurt me? A master at what you do never showed any signs that would have alerted me. Now irreversible cracks forever etched in my mind. Shards of glass from a broken heart cutting deep into my thighs. Now my trust is no wider than the eye of a needle. My heart is a two-way mirror that no one can see through. My body was God's temple until you came along and stained it. My face was filled with love and vibrancy until you came along and shamed it. <laughs> and now flashbacks and guilt constantly fight me for control. <laughs> Your awful stench still possesses my body. God, please can I have another soul? Now I sit in circles of strangers, trying to find a reason to continue with life. Thought about ending my own existence because it was the devil's best advice. I drove toward that cliff. I stared at those pills. I even held a razor to my wrist. My family kicked out the door and thanked God, saying, please, he can't win like this. But I need to be strong for those who let you manipulate them. Strong in the face of those who question. Didn't you see the signs? How long did you date him? The sad part is, I have no remorse as I stand here and say that I hate you. My only regret is not being there when they render you powerless and rape you. I hope you kill yourself, go to hell, and Satan sends you back. Because neither heaven nor hell wants you. Now you'll have to live with that.